ah, what a beautiful day. Got my work in. I mean, my workout done early. And now lunchtime. Hooray. Oh, let me get back to my car. Uh-oh. I think that's Dr. Romano. Oh, no. What he's up to. Hi, Dr. Romano. Is that you again? Hi, how are you? Wow. Didn't think you'd be out here today. What you working on? I'd like to go over an aromatic question that I posted to the study group, and I'd like to go over the synthetic methodology on how I'm going to convert toluene into a 1-ethyl-3,5-dinitrobenzene. So come around and let's have a look. Okay, Dr. Romano, love your yellow hat. Looks like a duck bill. What I want to do here is address two things. The first thing, we have to build on a carbon because we want a methyl to go to an ethyl. And secondly, we have to have all the groups matter to each other. So it's obvious that the first thing we have to do is to get a meta director on this ring. We have an OP director on the ring. So what I'm going to do is to take toluene and oxidize it with potassium dichromate till we get to the benzoic acid. Now, here's where it got a little tricky. I make a really clever move. I'm going to take the benzoic acid and react it with thionyl chloride and make it into benzoyl chloride. Once I have the benzoyl chloride made, I use the Corey House reaction using a dimethyl lithium cuprate reagent, and that puts on an extra carbon. Hopefully you see that move. Now, I'm going to nitrate acetophenone, which was, is this compound here, and when I nitrate it, I'm going to have this group direct the two nitro groups para, or, or excuse me, meta to each other. So now I got the two nitro groups in the meta position. The last step, I'm going to use the wolf Kishna, and the wolf Kishna is going to reduce down the carbonyl and spare the nitro to put on the ethyl group. And as you can see, once I get this group, I can check it using spectroscopy. You would see a very upfield triplet quartet. The methyl group would be indicative of the triplet signal, and the CH2 group would give a quartet. And you would also see a multiplet due to these H's on the ring at around 7-ish, 7-4, 7-5 on the NMR. For those that are curious, if you did an IR, you would be able to see the NO2 signals. The NO2 signals come in around 1350 and 1550, respectively. So you would also see that signal. I don't think that's a big landmark for the DAT, but if anyone's curious, that's where the nitro group would come in. All right, I hope this helps and gives you a good idea on the way I did this chemistry on going from toluene into 1-ethyl-3,5-dinitrobenzene. Okay, Dr. Romano. Um, I had a quick question. I came in. Okay, should I film the whole thing again? That first reaction there, right here. Okay, got that. Okay. Okay, good day to you. Got it. I guess I'll study it later. Good day to you, sir. Can I bring you back a little lunch? God, she never eats. Goodbye, Dr. Romano. Good day to you, sir.